I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Dana White. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. UFC President Dana White gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. All right, there's the leg kick you expected. He would employ them heavily here tonight, and maybe the boxer wants to go back to the sweet silence after that. Yeah, he wants to bump. Oh, trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Dana White gets caught with that punch. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice job by him defensively there. Can't take many of those, you better check. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, good strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Attempts the front kick there. right hand back to the overhand right not there yes! That's what I'm talking about. slips the punch nicely there and in front kick there by Lee well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands, 
Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, nice technique on the sidekick. You don't learn that overnight. Oh, great block there. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really... Oh, massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. Get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Everything's oh, big elbow. 15 seconds to go. Push kick there to the body. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Outstanding round and another five minutes. Coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round. Tough job, but somebody's got to do it, man. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. Both fighters got stunned. It's amazing to think that we fight on here. We are in the best seat in the house to watch two men go out there and really lay it on the line. Both got hurt, but even when they were hurt, neither one of them looked like they wanted to take a step back the exact type of fight they expected and the type of fight that they're delivering to the fans. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. Ready, they've got to be happy. Ready. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Back and forth we go. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that foot. Nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Huge block there. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice jab there by Lee. Well, you don't want to take too many kicks on that calf, and now it's starting to show some visible damage. You can see the color starting to change on the calf. He's taking too many of his kicks. UFC President Dana White circling to his right now. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, nice little right hook there. Straight right hand now, just misses. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, misses with the hook. They're going at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Uppercut. 
All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Blocks the shot. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Less than two minutes now to go in round two. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, big left hand! Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. All right, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. Less than a minute to go in the round. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Back and forth we go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. 30 seconds to go in round two. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing shot. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different. Oh! That's a cut! Oh, my goodness! I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. 